Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing a topic that affects many internet users, blacklisted IP addresses. If you're concerned about your online security and privacy, then this video is a must watch. Stick around till the end to learn how you can check if your IP address is blacklisted and what you can do about it. First of all, let's define what is IP blacklisting. IP blacklisting is the process of marking an IP address as unreliable or malicious. This is done by internet service providers, ISPs, or security organizations and is intended to prevent spam, phishing, malware, and other harmful online activities from reaching end users. When an IP address is blacklisted, it may result in reduced email deliverability, restricted access to websites, and a damaged online reputation. It's important to regularly check your IP address to ensure it has not been blacklisted, and if it has, to take the necessary steps to remove it from the blacklist. What are the common causes of IP blacklisting? One of the most critical aspects of protecting your online security and privacy is understanding the reasons why an IP address may be blacklisted. Here are some of the most common causes. 1. Sending spam emails. This is the most common reason why IP addresses get blacklisted. If you're sending out a large volume of unsolicited emails, then it's only a matter of time before your IP address is added to a blacklist. 2. Participating in DDoS attacks. DDoS attacks are a type of cyber attack that floods a website or network with an overwhelming amount of traffic, causing it to become unavailable to users. If your IP address is involved in such an attack, it's likely to be blacklisted. 3. Hosting malicious websites. If you're hosting a website that contains malicious content or software, then your IP address is likely to be blacklisted. This is because the website could potentially harm the devices of its visitors. 4. Having a compromised device. If your device has been infected with malware or a virus, it could be used for malicious activities without your knowledge. This could result in your IP address being blacklisted. Consequences of having a blacklisted IP. Having a blacklisted IP address can have severe consequences for both individuals and businesses. Here are some of the most common ones. 1. Difficulty sending emails. If your IP address is blacklisted, then it's likely that your emails will be marked as spam and never reach their intended recipient. 2. Slow website performance or downtime. If your website's IP address is blacklisted, then it's likely to experience slow loading times or even complete downtime. This can be detrimental to your online presence and reputation. 3. Loss of credibility and reputation. Having a blacklisted IP address can severely harm your online reputation and make it difficult for people to trust you or your business. 4. Difficulty accessing certain websites or services. Some websites and services may block access from IP addresses that have been blacklisted. This means that you may not be able to access certain content or services if your IP address is blacklisted. Step-by-step -step solution. Now that we have a better understanding of the causes and consequences of IP blacklisting, let's take a look at how to check if your IP address is blacklisted and what you can do about it. 1. Determine your IP address. The first step to checking if your IP address is blacklisted is to determine what your IP address is. You can do this by searching, what is my IP in your preferred search engine. 2. Check blacklist databases. There are several websites that maintain lists of IP addresses that have been flagged as spammers or malicious actors. Some popular ones include mxtoolbox.com slash blacklists.aspx, anti-spam.org.cn slash ip slash, and spamhouse.org slash lookup slash. Links will be in the description. 3. Enter your IP address into the blacklist checker on the website of your choice. The website will then scan its database to see if your IP address has been blacklisted. If your IP address is found on the blacklist, the website will provide information on why it was blacklisted and which blacklist it appears on. 4. Take action to remove your IP address from the blacklist. Once you know why your IP address was blacklisted, you can take steps to remove it. The steps to remove a blacklist will vary depending on the reason for the blacklist, but here are some common steps. For spam emails, Make sure to stop sending unsolicited emails and reach out to the blacklist provider to request removal from the blacklist. For DDoS attacks, secure your device or network to prevent future attacks and reach out to the blacklist provider to request removal from the blacklist. For hosting malicious content, 
remove any malicious content from your website and secure your device or network to prevent future issues. Reach out to the blacklist provider to request removal from the blacklist. For compromised devices, remove any malware or viruses from your device and secure it to prevent future issues. Reach out to the blacklist provider to request removal from the blacklist. 5. Monitor your IP address. Once your IP address has been removed from the blacklist, it's important to monitor it to ensure it doesn't become blacklisted again. You can use the same blacklist checker websites to periodically check your IP address. That's all for today's video on, how do I find out if my IP address is blacklisted? We hope that this information will help you keep your online activities secure and protect your online reputation. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on internet security and privacy. Until next time, stay safe online.